which is 12, and I won't add anything to it. Complication. Ooh, complication. Right on. Okay, the recoil from the shot knocks the, the she loses grip of her pistol and it hits the floor, and she doesn't hit you, so you don't even have to roll a dodge. And then we go to the next turn, or next round, and we start with the players. Okay. What would you do like you to wanna, do? Do the momentum. Technically, we're supposed to all lose the momentum as we go through a round. Yeah, actually. Yeah, that's a good idea. Everybody lose a momentum. One momentum because it's the end of the round. Thanks for reminding me. Your friends may not thank you, but I do. <coughs> oh, my God. Look at all these little things I have to delete. Delete it. Delete it. Okay, player's turn. Who wants to go first? Should we go with Parasite again? Work across, like, left to right or something. I'll, um, if I would do a classic John Carter move, I'll do a, a little leap. <laughs> I'll do a little leap through the air, and uh, kind of with one foot and one arm forward for balance, and then swinging down with the other left arm, I'll try and sweep this guy as I, I bounce past with my sword to give him a good heck. Click. Roll it. And I'm going to spend the momentum on that as well. My life is hey, when it Sounds great. So you're using your sword then? So it's going to be a melee attack? Yeah. Okay, so that's going to be cunning and daring. Together, please. Checking something there. Holy troops, I can. Uh, right, so cunning and daring. Um, oh, why is it not loading for me now? Here we go. The sound of your muttering is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. We do it a lot. Don't I'm apologize. Just... What do you think you are, Canadian? <laughs> Where do you think they get the habit from? <laughs> exactly, the mother country. <laughs> I just showed you guys real quick again the attack steps for your convenience. Can go. Two successes, but a complication. Okay, so he has to defend with daring and empathy. And his daring is. It's just daring. Rather a pain because otherwise they're too right to go. Okay. We Americans kind of lost the ability to apologize, unfortunately. Okay, so he matches you for successes. Um, so your attack fails. He's able to dodge it. And the comp complication is, is that his dodging throws you off balance so that you actually fund Blonder and fall, tripping over and banging into the far corner of the wall. So I'm just going to... No, I'll take you this way, because your momentum would have carried you over here. Uh, and you are now lying prone on the floor. And that way we get you out of the way for anyone else that wants to act, if that's okay. And it, it kind of goes in my favor in an odd way. Oh, absolutely. Get, get up behind any of the other two, so... Um, yeah. Okay, so we'll finish with Patterson's turn there, and who wants to go next? I mean, Tans is the next one in line in the conga line, but we anyone can go if they like. I'll go. Now that they're out of the way, I pull up my swords, and I do, and, and I try to rush either one of them. Um, I think I'll uh, probably rush the guy because he's closer. It makes sense because, I mean, I would say, even though this isn't D&D, &D, if you just rush past him, I would almost give him an attack of uh, opportunity. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. I, would, I would deal with him. Yeah. An attack of opportunity because he's not going to just stand there and let you run by him and attack I'll the woman, right? I'll use two momentum. I'll use two of my momentum. Okay. Are you attacking with your sword or your pistol? Swords. Okay. I have both of them out. Okay. Successes. 
What did he get? He got zero. So you definitely hit. You only needed one to hit. Uh, so that means you generated two momentum. You have okay. a complication. Um, so you're attacking him, right? Yeah. Okay. So uh, you now get to roll four combat dice. So make sure you give yourself the two. How many? How many momentums did you spend? Just one. Two. 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 Okay. And then so I got two. Yeah. So you're back to three. So that's great, right? So yep. you you can use momentum to buy more combat dice if you like, or your base combat dice is going to be two for the attack and two for the sword. So four in total is in total as your base that you're going to roll. Four d six. You can use momentum to buy more if you like. Okay, I'm good. Um, target number. You don't need a target number for combat dice. You just need to roll okay. four d six, not d twenty. So make sure you change it. Awesome. Ooh, wow, wow, good bro. Okay, so uh, let's see here. You got two, four, five, six plus an effect. An effect is going to give you uh, an automatic extra damage because you have sharp on your weapon, right? Does your weapon have any bonus stats? Because you have a special weapon, don't you? Um, it, it's my father's sword, so it has... Try, it probably has something like you know. Check your character. Check check your combat. Check your character sheet, because that's where it would be. Under your equipment, if it Plus hasn't. Plus two sharpness. Great. So that means you are going to get eight points of damage on him. So that's okay. That's cool. Uh, he is down. Yay. You stab him right through some vital organ, and he is dead. Eight points is a lot. Let's see. One of my swords hits hard. The other one hits, I would say, about 13 inches. <laughs> okay, so he is dead. Did you, you stab, uh, so you would have moved up closer to him, Tanza? You moved up right, I would think right there, to do the sword attack? Uh-huh. Okay. And I think we're kind of done your turn then, hey? So, huzzah to you. First blood. Uh, we've got Pamela and Zax. Who wants to go next? I'll go next. Okay. I'll shoot um, one of the uh, white apes. The closest okay. one to me. Right on. I'll just put this, uh, oh, that doesn't work. Go ahead and roll your cunning and reason. For your pistol shot. Oh. oh, applications. Okay, well, you hit. Um, go ahead and roll your damage for that. You got a complication, so I have to think about that. So for pistols, uh, you're going to do more than that. Just roll. Hang on yeah. one second. Um, it's uh, four combat dice. Pistols should be a little bit more, though. And I think I was having a debate with that. So really make it five combat dice, because pistols should do more damage than than swords. Okay. If you think of a Glock, right? Yeah. So roll five combat dice, uh, which are five D6s. And I'd okay. have to double check, but we're running out of time, and I don't want to spend, like, the last four minutes looking something up. So five combat mm -hmm. dice just makes sense. Okay. And if I'm wrong, we'll change it next time. All right. Because there will now be a next time. Huzzah! Yay! Wow, look at all that. One, two, three, four, plus um, an effect. And fear, and fear is uh, part of the effect for radium guns. 
four, five. So like to five damage then mm -hmm. on the ape, ape number one. Ape one. Okay, ape one. Five stress. And so that's five stress. You now have given the ape one affliction. It's still alive, but it's got one affliction. So one affliction means like it's a serious wound. So now it's going to take um, wound penalties, right? Okay. And Zax, let's finish up with your turn, and then we're going to have to wrap up the session. Okay. Um, uh, am I too close to use the radium pistol to these guys? Yeah, and they've got four arms, right? Okay. So I mean, uh, you so could it, it could be well. I'm not saying that you could it could be uh, point blank, but it would be a DC of two, you know. Okay. Um, I'm I'm gonna um, I'm gonna try that on the uh, on the one that uh, Pamela just uh, shot, and I'm gonna use two momentum to roll um, four d20. Okay, and I'm just and put a red dot good. there for you guys to see on the one Pamela just shot. Nice. Okay. So three successes. Uh, uh, so you generate one momentum. Um, uh, well, these are all, there's three criticals or successes. So those count as two. So that's six successes, is it not? Okay. Sorry, I'm just kind of rushing because I know Tansy has to go in yep. two minutes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, and then for the pistol, we did five. Uh, well, just wait a second. He rolled his dodge, so he made it. That's right. You know he didn't. Sorry. Yeah, you got five. Um, yeah. So go ahead and roll your combat. Okay, Dice will be five. Five, five okay. d6s. Yeah. Uh, wow. That's two plus two complications. Three. Two. Three plus two complications. Okay, so that's going to be another five on him and another affliction. Uh, two afflictions. So now he has ten stress. He's still alive, but there's a big blood. He's bleeding from all over, from the back where Tan uh, Pamela shot him and from the front where you shot him. Okay. And so that's the end of the player's turn. And we're going to stop there at the beginning of the enemy's turn. So I guess we will have to have another session. I don't know when the heck we're going to book it because it's so hard to book the D&D &D group. Uh, also, Tansa's going to have to leave right away. So um, uh, I can stay around for a few minutes to discuss when we do our next I, session. I've, I've got an idea. Why don't we all post, uh, um, say, three or four Fridays and Saturdays or possibly even a couple of Sundays we can do in the next like six weeks and then uh, um, kind of like do one of those Facebook polls you know like a poll so put like all the dates up and then vote on which ones we can and can't do so the only one I cannot do that I know I can't do um, is the 18th of May because my husband is graduating that week oh congratulations so the 11th. no I meant the 11th I meant the 11th okay. the 11th uh, anyone like uh, f uh, I'm looking at mostly Saturdays. Find nighttime sessions aren't going to work because we're in North America and you're in in the UK, right? So I would suggest we do the same time on a Saturday. Uh, if anyone has any particular, like I know April is pretty much shot. Um, I actually, I actually wouldn't. What sort of time in the morning would it be if you guys did that? Well, to be honest, I also work Fridays, and I'm too tired to come and run a game. Like, to be okay. honest, after working all day. I could do yeah. early. I could do early mornings. No, I meant. Well, like even Friday that, nights. I meant if you guys did Friday night, what time would it be for me? I just, I could, I don't mind like as a one-off getting up early, but, but I'm just gonna, gonna work. Uh, 
How about... Paula, um, Dane, do you guys have anything you want to throw into the pot? Uh, the, the only challenge for me is the weekend of the 19th and 20th, um, although uh, yeah, I am dialing in for the the D&D, &D, but I'm, I'm wide open outside of that. For me? Yeah. So I can't... And April, I'm wide open until then. The Saturday the 5th is difficult for me. Um, but uh, otherwise... What about Paula? Um, 28th? April? I will be in Indiana. Oh. I'm running a, a, a shot there in Indiana, so I will And I'll be at Calgary Expo. Yeah, so April's... What about... April's uh, to be honest, you guys, April's not good for any, any day. No, or okay. for me, really. What about Sunday 6th? Uh, we have Sunday our... Six. We have Victorian Vampire at... Um, we're running the Victorian Vampire game yep. that day. So that's why I say, uh, you know, Sundays are almost bad because um, a lot of us play in D and D here. So Sundays the D and D uh, or other game thing for Vampire Masquerade. So that's why I'm are saying that, Saturdays. Are there any of the four Fridays or five Fridays that people could do? Uh, like I said, I'm I can't do Fridays. I work all day and I'm too tired to come run a session. What about Thursday? No, any work night, guys. <laughs> it's too hard. I'm sorry. I'm 50 and I work a high pressure job. So, no, I, I can't do weekdays right now. Okay. So, uh, that's what I'm saying, Saturday. I'm open to any Saturday. Okay, so Tanza is not free May 12th, and Dane is gone May 19th. That leaves us with either the 5th, which is hard for you, right, uh, Max, because you're coming back from holidays, right? Uh, it's – I'm, I'm – I very, very rarely work a Saturday, and yeah. I, I will be working that day. Okay. But I mean, it, it's it's possible. I I kind of finish. How about then well, have... May twenty six? Or yes, I can do that. Would that be okay for everybody? Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm sorry we couldn't get done, and I'm sorry if I was pushing you guys to get done. I was just hoping we could get done. That's okay. So yep. May twenty six, Dane, Max, how's that looking for you guys? Not yeah, I, I guess uh, I guess it will have to be. Yeah, but I mean, I I guess we're all just enjoying it so much. We didn't want to let it finish tonight. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's the material we added on some stuff. But that's fine because the ad lib stuff is fun. The fight pit was fun. Everyone had fun with that. Uh, Pamela making funds at the slave market, kind of weird. Almost like a uh, S and M bar. Okay, weird. Um, I, I I quite enjoyed that bit and. Um, that, that was really, really kind of cool to watch, and I, I quite enjoyed being Tanza's slave for a moment there. That was, that was... <laughs> Getting the leash put on you. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's do May 26, uh, and can we just take two minutes or three minutes to just talk about what you guys want to do afterwards? Because for sure we are going to get done this thing on May 26. So there's a question, or think about it, and we can again talk about it May 26 as to do we want to stay together as a gaming group? Do we want to stay together and continue to play John Carter of Mars? Do we want to try a different gaming system? These are all things you can think about. And if you guys are kind of had enough of the online thing, then that's fine. Um, these are all things I guess we could talk about at the next session, but it's something to consider. Thoughts, ideas? Well, I at least um, feel like you know, if if ERB could do eleven stories, just out, you know, with, he's got one head on this, you know, on and he and he came up with eleven stories. Surely we could keep this going longer between the, you know, four, five, six of us. I would say let's, you know, let's try and come up with a way to keep this going, keep this adventure I, going. I've I've really enjoyed it, but um, maybe we could kind of like include this arc and then do another mini arc on top and like agree a number of sessions so maybe like a a four session adventure or five session adventure that that is a yeah. slightly that it that is a, that it is a slightly different arc you know maybe uh because i like the characters and you know just getting used to the character sheet just getting used to the edges and the system so uh, it'd be nice to do another three or four but maybe a different mini adventure well, and, and the thing is, this is the beta test mini adventure that uh, Modifius put out. Exactly. And so and it's actually one that they're going to release with the final product as well. Yeah. 
so yeah. so you could write one of your own style for us and i'd be really interesting to see to see that we could continue because it'd be really cool to see what kind of happens between tanza and and patterson and and um if uh say for example if um how we had a group would continue evolving over another three or four sessions would be real cool but like in a different environment or scenario i'd be up for that oh that's a good idea dane paula what are you guys' thoughts i like that idea yeah. I, i'm open to it as well i think that, that because this is so new that puts a lot of pressure on you vic so maybe we need to talk about rotating the gm yeah, yeah, a little bit because uh, we're we'd then be moving into custom territory, and yeah, that's uh, that's a little bit more planning and thoughtfulness. Does that anyone want to take on the GM role and write their own adventure to run for us? Is there? I mean, because I know a couple of you guys. Well, yeah, a lot of you guys are GMs in your own right, and and no stranger to home brewing. Um, is anyone look? Is anyone up for the challenge? Or thinking about it to put together a short little. Campaign. I know we just had our writing contest, and uh, so on online we have uh, the winner of the writing contest, uh, Keith Johnson's um, module up. Uh, so that's something that could be used possibly. Um, we still have Flags of Mars in the Quick Start, which is really short. Um, so I don't know how many of you guys have read that, and if that would be too much of giving away the spoilers. Um, it's also something, Zach's, sorry, go ahead. Sorry, go on. Uh, remind me, Zach's your real name? I, so many people, no. I, uh, no, no problem. Uh, I go by Dane. Dane, um, <laughs> would you be, uh, in, did you mentioned you might seem to indicate you might not mind jamming? I, I, well, I, I don't, I don't mind that uh, trying. I, I, I just, I probably know this. I haven't read any of the books, um, and I, I don't know, um, you know, kind of the, the the culture behind it, you know, so much. But uh, you know, if we've got, um, you know, some some ideas, uh, yeah, I don't mind giving it a shot. But uh, I'm probably the least uh, least knowledgeable about uh, Barson. You know, I'd say if even if you just read the first, they're very fast reads. Even if you read the Princess of Mars and the Gods of Mars, I think you'd have enough. Uh, of an idea because that's where all the key world build, building happens even if you only watch the movie you'd have kind of the basics but the, I mean Princess of Mars really gives you the ess essence of the world build and that's such say, a short read you can get it done like in a day or two like it's hard it's not I'd like say, a, yeah sorry oh, go ahead even just watching even if you didn't you read one of the books and then just watch both movies I mean the one there's one movie that's kind of modern times. It's really low budget, but that also kind of shows some things that the 2012 movie doesn't, but it is pretty like, it's like a C movie, but it's not, you know, it would show you certain things as well. Well, let me, uh, let me see if I can do some reading and research and uh, we'll talk about it more next time we get together and you know, with a little bit of help and a bit of runway, you know, I'm willing to give it a shot. Cool. Cool. Thanks, thanks, Dean, and thanks for keeping track of all the momentum stuff. Um, okay, so we'll wrap it up there. Um, thank you very much, everybody, for coming. And again, I apologize if I was pushing you guys to get this thing wrapped up too much. Uh, I hope I wasn't too brusque or brisk or, or rude. Um, if so, I apologize. Um, I think that's kind of it. we got to let Tanza go play WoW now. Good luck. Awesome. And we'll see you guys May 26th. And, yeah. Take care. Have a nice holiday, right. Max. Thank you. And, Dane, yeah, you, you take care, too. Be good, people. Take yeah. care. Oh, Dane and Paula, can you guys hang on a second? Okay. So Norm said that he got his weekends wrong and he might have to zoom in as well. Yeah. Oh, okay. That um, might get a bit complicated. That might get a little bit complicated. I agree. Um, so I haven't really checked out Zoom. So we need like an iPad or something set up, right? I oh, we just need a computer or a tablet. Okay, so and I can always... Webcam. Oh, as long as we have a webcam. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, 
I guess I can bring my... I mean, Paula, do you know how to do all that? Would you mind taking yep. care of the technical aspects yep, I of it? Because yep. I, I haven't used Zoom, and I don't really... I haven't really used my webcam either on my laptop. I so. have Zoom for um, our church, so I can do that. That would be great. Um, and I think... Didn't we say we're, we're doing it at Revolutions, right? So there's a plug-in yeah, there. Yeah, we're doing it at Revolutions, yeah. Yeah, so we can do the plug in there and we can kind of mm -hmm. figure that out. So, Paula, okay. if you don't mind, oh, it would be awesome you could take on the technical aspects. Yep, I can do that. Okay, cool. So we'll still try and keep that d, &D date going for the 20th mm -hmm. of May. Mm -hmm. And no, that wraps it up for April for us, I think. Yep. So I won't see or hear from you guys. So do, if there's any problems... Let me know. Um, mm -hmm. We still got Kobe and Paula and myself coming live for that date. I'm okay. not sure. Chris was, was going to be there too, I believe. Oh, Chris, yeah. Chris is going to be there too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So with Chris's schedule, we definitely have to keep it on Sunday afternoons. Yeah. Um, anything else you think we need to talk about either D&D? &D? I think that's pretty much it, though. Yeah. Did uh, did Norm text back saying what was no, going on? He didn't, unfortunately. No. Uh, I just emailed him like, uh, if he needed anything, let me know. Okay. Um, and he didn't reply, so I hope he's okay. Me too. Oh, uh, I'll email him maybe tomorrow or whatever. But at least we know he's alive mm -hmm. and stuff. So hope he hopes he hope I hope he, everything's fine. Uh, I don't know if this May 26th date is good for him, but hopefully he can make it work because there's enough lead time. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much, guys. You're welcome. And thank we'll you. talk to you May 20th. Yeah. I'll see you May 6th. May 6th. I'll see you. I'll see you at the vampire one. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot. Thanks for hanging Bye. back. You guys have a good night. You too. Safe travels. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Bye.